The Supply Circuit On our schematic drawing of the truck tractor air brake system, the supply circuit is colored blue. The circuit consists of the compressor, its attached governor, a dryer, a supply reservoir or wet tank, one airline connecting the wet tank to the primary or rear axle service reservoir, another airline to the secondary or front axle service reservoir, a signal line connecting the supply reservoir to the governor reservoir port, and a control line running from the governor unloader port to the purge valve on the dryer. Now let's take a few moments to explain how these components work together. To begin, it's important to know that the supply circuit runs in two cycles the loading cycle and the unloading cycle. During the loading cycle, the components of the supply circuit work to pressurize or charge the air brake system. The unloaded cycle, on the other hand, unloads the compressor when air reaches the governor cutout pressure. During the loading cycle, the compressor pressurizes the air, pumping it out its discharge line into the dryer's supply port. The dryer filters the moisture from the compressed air and sends it out to the supply reservoir. From the supply tank, the air moves down the two lines through the one-way check valves and into the primary and secondary circuit reservoirs. As the compressor runs, it pushes more and more air through the dryer and into the supply, primary and secondary reservoirs, loading the air pressure equally in all three, pressurizing the system. The unloaded cycle begins when the load in the supply reservoir reaches a predetermined cutout pressure somewhere between 105 and 135 psi. When the load in the system reaches the cutout pressure, the air in the supply reservoir signal line pushes through the governor to the unloader valves, holding the compressor's intake valves open, stopping the system from charging and purging the air dryer of moisture. When the pressure in the supply reservoir drops 20 to 25 psi below the cutout pressure, the governor releases the air from the compressor's unloader valves and the dryer's purge valve out through its exhaust port, and the supply circuit goes back into the loading cycle. This concludes our lesson on the supply circuit. Please select another lesson or click on the repeat button to see the lesson again.